Hello everyone, welcome back to Off Studies by Francis Bacon. Let us recollect the previous class. In this essay, Bacon describes the importance of studies, education in human life. Bacon begins the essay by identifying three purposes of studies to delight for ornament and for ability studies delight most when one is in solitude knowledge acquired through studies serve as ornament while conversing with others a well-read man will have a good vocabulary and greater knowledge which will increase the worth of a conversation studies improve one's judgmental and authoritative abilities a learned man will do his daily affairs with higher efficiency bacon however says that studying too much is a sign of laziness and using too many ornaments while conversing makes one look pretentious, not truthful. To make judgments only on the basis of rules is the stupidity of a scholar. Studies makes a man perfect. Studying is not an inborn talent. It is acquired. The natural abilities of a man are improved by studies, just like the growth of plants is improved by trimming. Studies provide both direction and experience to life. Crafty men, that is practical men, often condemn studies but wise men use it studies teach man to learn from observation one must not use knowledge as a means of opposing ideas studies should be used to weigh and consider that is to analyze and understand then Bacon speaks about the different ways in which different books are to be read. He says, some books are to be tasted, others to be swallowed, and some few to be chewed and digested. Bacon, however, also says that sometimes it may be enough to read extracts or reviews of books made by others instead of reading the whole book by oneself reading makes a man complete bacon reading makes a man complete conversation makes a man quick and witty and writing improves the memory if a man writes less he will lack a good memory if he speaks little he will lack wit, that is imagination and presence of mind. And if he reads less, he will not have much knowledge. Now, the text is continued. Listen carefully. Histories make men wise. Poets witty. The mathematics subtle, natural philosophy deep, moral grave, logic and rhetoric able to contend, abound studia in mores. Nay, there is no stand or impediment in the wit but may be wrought out by fit diseases 
like as diseases of the body may have appropriate exercises bowling is good for the stone and reins shooting for the lungs and breast gentle walking for stomach riding for the head and the like so if a man's wit be wandering let him study the mathematics for in demonstrations if his wit be called away never so little he must begin again if his wit be not apt to distinguish or find differences let him study the schoolmen for they are simony sectors if he be not apt to beat over matters and to call up one thing to prove and illustrate another let him study the lawyers cases so every defect of the mind may have a special receipt studying history makes a man wise studying poetry makes him witty that is imaginative mathematics give sound logical sense to us studying natural philosophy that is natural sciences increases the depth of one's mind studying morals makes him grave that is serious learning logic and rhetoric makes him understand everything a bound studia in mars means studies will become part of our character there is no disease of the mind that cannot be cured by proper study just as body needs exercise mind needs study bowling games are good for bladder and kidneys shooting is good for lungs and chest walking is good for stomach and riding is good for the brain similarly studies are good for the mind if a person is unable to concentrate let him study mathematics in mathematics a slight loss of concentration will lead to error so he will have to start once again if the person is not having the ability to distinguish and understand then let him study schoolmen that is philosophers of middle age it will improve their mental ability simony sectors means having great mental ability if a person is unable to express his ideas or explain properly let him study law so to conclude every deficiency of mind can be addressed by studies